How you doing everyone? Boobo617 here and welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be going through how to store your motorcycle in a storage unit that is not meant for motorcycles. There it is. All right, and to give you a little background about myself, I live in Boston, Massachusetts in an apartment. So that means that I do not have a storage. I, don't, I do not have a garage. What I do have is a parking lot, a private parking lot, yes, but it's outside. Um, so I needed to look for the storage unit. My very first bike, I was lucky because I had a motorcycle mechanic that he used to work on it and he used to keep it in his garage. But then he moved out and I just didn't have any contact with him anymore. So after my mechanic moved out, I had no choice but to look for other places to store the bike. So the first few years, what I actually did, I just stored it right in my parking lot, right outside. I just put a tarp over it um, and it was fine. Um, I did have a few incidents where the wind actually knocked the bike over. So I had to, uh, you know, had to, it was a trial and error moment that I had to put it in different positions in different areas of the parking lot, but I, I found the perfect spot. Um, the issue was more that I got a new bike and I just didn't want to store the bike outside anymore. You know, the, the chain started getting rusted on the other one and things like that. So I just didn't want that for my new bike. So I decided, you know, let, let me go and look for where to store this bike. Um, yeah, I have a lot of friends and I could have asked them, hey, um, actually a lot of them offered, hey, bring your bike over and your store to my garage or here and there. I just don't like, personally, I don't like to bother people. So I decided, you know, let me just uh, do this on my own and figure this out. So I started doing a little bit of research on storage unit facilities and um, which ones accommodated bikes and things like that. I did find a few, but they were all too far from where I was living. Um, and there was one walking distance from me. So I decided, you know what, let me check this one out to see what I can do. So what I did, I put a, uh, did a little research on that particular facility. And, and unfortunately they did not accommodate motorcycles. Um, they needed, they, they couldn't, anything with gasoline and anything that was registered, they could not store in their units. So what I did, I went in and I, um, and I had got a little tour of the place to, just to see if I can physically bring in a motorcycle, you know, if they have the ramps and et cetera, et cetera. So <clears throat> that's what I did. And while I was there, I was with the manager and I told him I, I seen a unit that was available. It was five by 10. Um, and I told him this is the unit that I want. And ob obviously when you sit down and do all the paperwork, they ask you, what are you gonna store there? And obviously if you want insurance and et cetera. I did not tell him that I was going to store a motorcycle there because I had a plan. My plan was to bring in the motorcycle when no one was there, no one was working. So I, I looked I looked at their times. So the times in this particular extra storage space was um, the storage unit would be open at six in the morning until eight at night. Management and, and uh, employees would be, they'll start their day at eight at eight in the morning and uh, close at six at night. So that gave me a window of two hours at night or two hours in the morning to either bring in the bike or take it out when it is in. So that's exactly what I did. I signed the, I signed all the paperwork. I, um, you know, they asked me, what am I gonna store? I said, I'm just storing some, some things that uh, are extra in my home. That's fine, whatever. And I proceeded on the very next day I brought it in the morning. So at six in the morning, I was there with my bike storing it. And it fit perfectly. I uh, I made sure when I put it in the storage that I put, you know, the, the thick, um, the bike locks on it. I put all the locks on it just to make sure. I put two locks on the outside and that's it. I stored the bike. And that was last year, the first time I did it. And it actually worked so successfully that my brother was like, hey, is there space for mine? And he, and I said that actually there is, it was five by 10. So uh, a few days later he brought his bike and now we were going half on the fee, which was at the time it was $80. 
So we're going 40 and 40, me and him. When obviously when the winter is done and it's time to take the bikes out, what we would do is either go in the morning or at night when no one's there or even on a Sunday. Cause I, I learned that afterwards that on Sundays they don't even work, but the storage unit is open. So, um, yeah, that's it. That's pretty much it. How to store a bike in a storage unit that you're not supposed to put any bikes. And that's just because it was very inconvenient for myself to bring my bike anywhere else. This place was literally walking distance. So like if I wanted to pass by just to keep my eye on it, I can. Any other place was like 30 minute drive and it was just too inconvenient. And I'm sure there's a lot of people with the same issues. Good luck, everybody. And again, thank you for tuning in. Um, if you have any questions or if you did the same thing, I mean, if you do it similarly, I don't know, um, write down below. Let me know. Let me know what you think. Um, thanks for tuning in. Boo Boo 617.